Hey, we're the Never Ever, and you're watching the AU Review at Music Matters. Never Ever, welcome Thank to you. Music Matters, and welcome to Singapore. Thank you so much. Um, tell me your, your week so far at Music Matters. How has it been? It's been really fun, really busy. Um, just trying to immerse ourselves in all the, uh, the cool music things that are going on, and uh, you know, the local culture and lo local food has been a yeah, huge yeah. focus. Um, it's been really fun. Let's talk about that food because you, know, <laughs> you can't come to Singapore without talking about the food. No. We heard rumors. What have you guys tried? What have you been uh, doing well, we've, had, we've been lucky enough to have some people show us around. So we've had some, uh, <laughs> some great chicken, some chicken rice. Um, we've, we've met a friend right near our, our hotel and we go back every day and she's lovely. Um, <laughs> Check out the whole casinas. Yeah, whole We tried a, uh, a durian. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay, tell me. What, what do you think of a durian? Uh, we were concerned when we had to put on a glove to try it. <laughs> <laughs> when you have to put on gloves for any food, you gotta go, mm. <laughs> Worth trying, but... What do you think of the texture? It's like... Surprising. <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> and the last time, that was all yeah. one experience. Um, let's talk about showcases. You, you're, you've you already played a show, mm -hmm. and you've got the main stage coming up, plus you also got the Balsy Barbecue. Yeah. What was it? Uh, what, how, what was it like playing to a Singapore audience for the first time? Yeah, it was it was really cool. Quite different, especially like these are uh, such mixed genre bills. Um, we played a, a French showcase last night, so a French showcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a Sydney band to uh, <laughs> add some spice to a French yeah. showcase. How do you how do you how do you how do you introduce yourself when you? When you come on stage. Well, it was pretty easy because, you know, they're all so amazing. Hey, we're, uh, you know, we're from Sydney. We're not part of this French showcase, but it's been amazing. They're all so talented. So. We adopted French just for this time. Yeah, yeah. I did it in year eight at school. So. <laughs> talk about your single that you released yeah. recently. Yeah, can you talk about that single? Uh, it's called Cinnamon. Uh, it's, yeah, currently our single. It's on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, it's a bit of a funky song and a song that for us uh, through our writing process has been like a bit of a, a flag in the sand. So everything that we're writing at the moment um, is kind of stemming from that one song we really think we found a bit of a, a niche and a place that we're all really happy exploring. And um, yeah, it's, it's a fun track that we like to, I don't know, it's, it comes off really well live. So every, every night it's been yeah. really fun. And uh, I believe you're also currently working on, on the album mm -hmm. uh, at the moment. You know, how is actually the writing process? coming along for the album? It's, um, it's really interesting for us. We self-produce a lot of our own music. Um, and it's really important for us. Like the first thing when we, when we go back uh, from this tour is we're locking ourselves away in a house. Um, we have a house that we go to to write, try to separate ourselves from you know, the internet and all other distractions. Um, and yeah, like lots and lots of ideas, you know, voice memos and horrible things. You scribble down at 3 a.m. in the morning and we really flesh them out there. And uh, a big thing for us is uh, finding unique sounds. Um, we really try to find something, you know, a little bit unique and nostalgic. So whether it be, you know, you know, samples from Casio keyboards that we played in like year six at school or something that sounds like, you know, Nintendo 64 Bomberman soundtracks. Um, yeah, the, the uh, aesthetics of the sound that we use is a bit of a focus. So it can take a while, but it's really, it's really satisfying in the end. I guess it'll be quite difficult to though, be off the grid, as you say, you lock yourself away, <laughs> no internet and anything, like to be sort of really immersed. In and the it's whole really, yeah, process. it's really important for us, especially because we're self producing stuff. So, you know, we're the ones it's all falling back on. So. But it's your own signature, though, to, to the album. It's your own sound, it's exactly. everything is. You're putting you and yourself get a, into the whole, whole music. First opportunity, one yeah. opportunity to make yeah. a first album. So, yeah. And um, the house that we go to actually doesn't even have phone reception. So it's like <laughs> all of it, just the four of us, literally in a house, just we writing music. It sound like we go off the grid by choice, but that's actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have a choice. <laughs> don't have a choice. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's good. You guys were in uh, in Tokyo in yeah. last year. So we toured Japan uh, in November last year, which was incredible. Um, that is something in itself, like Japan is yeah, like and really, really different to Australia. We went all around Japan as well. We got to experience like the real uh, rural cultural areas, like <laughs> Nara to Tokyo and Osaka, and it was yeah, it was amazing. And uh, once again, they they have such mixed genre of bills. We were playing with some real pop bands and some heavier bands, but that's just the way the shows go. And I think what it meant is that all the people are just really enthusiastic about all different types of music, and mm. it was a great kind of music culture there yeah, yeah. it's a uh, but you know, can, 
I've been in Japan, Japan a few times, and mm. what struck me is the the production value. Oh, the, the absolutely. Re, you know, it's how much value they put into that. Mm. And did, did you say that yourself? It. Yeah, when, when you guys were sound checking, even and absolutely how meticulous they are. In that yeah, process. just the level of respect that everyone puts in on the night is amazing. All the the sound guys, the venue manager, everyone's like really into making sure that that night is great. Yeah. And from band one to the headliner as well, yeah. it's just the same treatment, which is great. Um, uh, I guess what's the what's the plans for you guys for the for the rest of this year besides the writing? Uh, uh, you got any other plans on horizons? Well, that's the great thing about being here for Music Matters. Like we're really uh, loving the the reception we're getting from Asia in general. So we'd love to come back S Singapore for sure, and yeah. Uh, yeah, try to do some touring in the in the region and make it a real focus for us. So. Yeah. We'd love to be back here as soon as possible, and I think we can make that happen. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's hope so. Well, never ever. Can't wait to see you guys at the barbecue tonight and then on the main stage tomorrow. Good luck with the writing process and Thank being you. off the grid. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are really lucky, seriously. <laughs> off the grid. And um, yeah, we'll have a chat to you guys uh, when, when the album drops later Thank you. on. Sounds great. Thanks so much. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Cheers.